Hey, in today's video, I want to show you how to sanitize your fresh water tank. It's super easy. All right, well, we've been in our RV for two years and this is the first time we've actually sanitized our tank. Now, in our defense, we don't drink out of it, but this should be done every six to 12 months. It's one of the easiest things you will actually do and there's all kinds of weird grody stuff that grows in your tank after a while. It's dark in there and you know it gets hot sometimes so who knows what's in there. So we're gonna do that right now. Uh, the first steps that I have taken so far is I have mixed some water with some bleach. Now the ratio you want is a quarter cup of bleach for every 15 gallons of your tank. Now these are 28 gallon tanks, so I've mixed in just under half a uh, half a cup of water into here. I kind of diluted this out. I have also turned off the hot water heater and I have put that in bypass mode. So you do not want this to go into your hot water heater. I have read everything that this should stay in your tank for anywhere from four to 12 hours. Uh, the best scenario is if you put it in your tank and drive around and let it slosh around in there. We really don't have that opportunity. We're in an RV park, so it's better for us to have water right here and just be able to flush this in the morning. So we're doing this at night. It's almost 10 o'clock in Alaska and it's light. And then we'll let this sit overnight and drain it in the morning. So I've drained the tanks mostly, it's about half full, and then I'm gonna add our bleach solution. Now you really don't wanna leave this in your tank for more than 12 hours. The bleach can start affecting your seals. So we'll do ours for about eight hours overnight. Okay, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the rest of the tank, and we'll go from there. Do 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 do. All right, I'm just gonna let this fill up till it's done. Well, I'm turning on the water pump, and I've double checked that my bypass valves are in the up and down position, bypassing the hot water heater. And then I'm gonna come over here and run the water until I smell bleach. It's not like bleach yet. Might take a little while. Okay, well I definitely smell bleach. And I'm gonna go in the bathroom and do the same thing. But you really don't wanna see that. So while I do that, we're gonna head to bed pretty soon and we will finish this off in the morning. Hey, good morning. So I'm gonna flush that bleach out of our fresh water tank. Uh, you could just run it out of the fresh tank itself onto the ground, but since we're in an RV park, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna run it into our black and gray tanks and then I'll dump it. Since we have a, a sewer dump right at our side, I'll just dump it right into there. And you just do that by opening your taps and let that run into your gray and then I'll run the toilet and run it, uh, let it run into the black. And then when the fresh tank is completely empty, I'll go ahead and refill it again and then flush the fresh water back through everything. And I probably just will dump that on the ground at that point. All right, easy, like that. I had a little residual water in the tank, so I went ahead and, and uh, drained that. I've switched that off, and then the next step in our sanitizing the tanks, I'm going to refill up our fresh tank with nothing but water, and then I'll run that through the system too until we don't smell any bleach inside. Okay, waiting game now. Well, one of the last things you wanna do is now turn your, your faucets back on, hot, cold, all the way through, and you wanna run these until you don't smell any more bleach. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run a whole nother tank full through the system, and then I'll fill it up with fresh once more, and we'll call it good from there. So I'm gonna do that, and then the very last step is you wanna make sure to put your hot water heater back in regular mode. So take it off a of bypass so your water will run back through your hot water tank and you can have hot water. So if you got any value out of this video, please consider subscribing to our channel, hit that notification bell, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video.